Have you ever seen a racing game and said to yourself, I can make this in a day? Probably not, but I have. The rules of this challenge are simple. I have 24 hours to make a racing game, but quality is optional. And for making a game, we need a game engine. And there's three top game engines. But if you don't know which one to pick, I will put them in a fight. So let's get started with Unreal Engine. So for making a racing game in Unreal Engine, we have two choices. Either program the vehicle movement which is hard and can take days to do so, or we can use the Unreal Engine's Chaos Vehicle System which is pretty cool and easy to use. And obviously we went with making our own vehicle movement script because god knows why. So first we made a cube to work as the body of the car. Later we can replace it with an actual car body. And now this body can move when we apply some force on it. Now we add 4 cylinders to this, working as the wheels and these rotate by dividing the distance the vehicle has moved by the circumference of the wheel. Yeah, big brain! And we also have the speed and RPM being measured actively. One problem we are facing right now is that we can't look around. It's like having a stiff neck. So I quickly added a look around feature. One of the greatest feature of a car is the steering and well, our car hasn't unlocked that yet. So we added a rotation offset when a button is pressed and that gives us, well, four wheel drive. After a while, I perfected the steering and now what we need is a car model to get us going. I downloaded this Camaro model by Outlaw Games and replaced our dummy shapes with the actual thing. And after a while, I realized this feels like shit. This is not becoming realistic, this is becoming Rocket League. So I had no other option but to scrap this. And now we are back to square one. And this time we are using Unreal Engine's Chaos Vehicle System. I made a new project and downloaded this Bugatti 3D model by Nekev. I imported the model into Blender to rig it and rigging it was not working at all. This was when I found out about Unreal Engine 4 car rigging add-on. An engine so coded it's saving us from the grave. Then I exported it into Unreal Engine but this time we have a problem with textures. So we have to download this material pack to paint the car ourselves. So for now I made this temporary paint and we should be good to go. I also followed this tutorial on Chaos Vehicles and now we have a drivable car and this comes up with top of the line suspension and drifting simulation. Just like realistic racing games. By this time I had spent like half of the time we had for this project and we have a car but we don't have anywhere to drive it. So I went to Sketchfab and found this road model. But the materials are kinda bad, so I went to Unreal Marketplace and found this fine American road texture. Slapped it on the road model and now we have some fine American road. Now I made a giant piece of land and made a spline on top of it, mimicking the shape of the road we are going for. Now we can spawn roads on this spline and make it a very cool looking track. And now we have to make the race level. So what I did was to turn the land into island and add an ocean by clicking a button, carving mountains and lakes, adding grails by the side of the road and adding trees and grass. And also I added banana trees out of all vegetables because no game is perfect without bananas. It was this time that I realized that there was a problem with the car. A normal Bugatti Turbulent has a top speed of about 260 miles, but our car is slower than a Toyota. So I made this super high tech facility to test out different gear ratios and torque for the car to achieve the same result. And now we have almost the same top speed as the real Bugatti Turbulent. One other thing that is missing is a HUD for the speed of the car. I quickly made a simple one that shows the RPM, gear that we are using and our speed. Also I watched this video on making the racing game more immersive and he used a dash cam. So I added a dash cam as a secondary camera which you can toggle into. 
Now one thing that I know about racing games is that we need a controller support because who in the right mind would play our game if we had to control everything using WASD. And now we can play our game with a controller. I also added day and night cycle but that turned out pretty bad so I removed it. Now it's time to do a paint job on the car and it turned out pretty good. One thing missing in the car is lights, so made the brake light and headlight materials to become more bright when brakes and buttons are pressed and they now look like actual brake light and headlight. I'm pretty sure that's what studios use as well. Now let's play the game. Oh, the game seems to have no sound. And I downloaded and applied this sound on the racing level and now we have a decent ambient nature sound coming to our ears. Speaking of sounds, we don't have an engine sound as well. But the problem is, I don't know how to make engine sounds. So I found these sounds of Bugatti cars on YouTube, screen recorded it and followed this tutorial on YouTube on how to set it up. And now we have a pretty crappy engine sound. But we have to go with it since I don't have much time left to work on it. Now to finish the game, we have to make a start and graphics menu. Lucky for me, I found this pre-built start and graphics menu on the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And all I had to do was to set it up and make a new level for the loading screen and we are good to go. Now I had to do a professional job on the icon designing. So introducing Forza Horizon Knockoff Edition for a premium price of $0. I also downloaded a Forza Horizon 4 wallpaper to serve as our loading screen. Pretty good job I would say. At the end, I exported the game and now it's ready to play. So this is what we made with $0 in 24 hours. I mean look at it, nobody can guess this took a day to make. Give me 100 subs and likes and I will turn this into a full release. Nobody would download this anyway. If you want to play this game, download it from the link in the description. It's like a gigabyte so no worries. Also smash like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.